Hello, everybody. I know I normally do online stuff for the weekend, but uh, my online's not doing very good right now. I'm having awful matchups right now. Mad, and I can't even connect to anybody. NBA, I keep. I don't know. It seems like it seems off. My shots seem off, and I try to do some kill zone, and it takes like probably like a million bullets to kill somebody and then it's delayed <laughs> and then um an another point was i was i was right around the corner nothing was around me i just died because i was shot at like 10 seconds ago <laughs> so my online's not doing very good but we'll do something offline which is my player we will continue with my dude I'll hopefully try to get it fixed, but problem is I have my PS4, PS3, and Xbox One sat right next to each other, so it might be they might be interfering with each other. I don't know where else to put them though. And of course, I have uh, this the HDCP device, which creates RF interference, which is probably making some of my problems even worse and then of course I have my laptop open which is probably making my connection even worse for these systems so I'm not having a very good time with my internet right now alright right, fellas let's play team ball out there tonight and get this win game on yeah but I'm th I've been thinking of trying to get a bridge or something I have a buffalo router Maybe get a Buffalo Bridge or something. Hello again, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Kurt Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to bring you the NBA on 2K Sports. And now... All right. On Jared Slinger. Hey, you get off to a good start. Get some easy looks and knock down three of your first four shots. Here's Sullinger. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. Shot from 12. On uh, with the bucket. He changed my man, man. The, night. the entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Passes it to Money. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Poke loose. Shot clock at six. And pushing it up, here's Boston, here's Bradley, and oh. hits it to tie the game up. Dang it. Bradley's got his first bucket of the night. And you can see the importance of that steal. I mean, really a four-point turnaround with the conversion at the other end right there. Yeah, that's big. I mean, you, you negate a basket at one end, score at the other. Now is when the momentum can really shift. Here's Mack. He's covered by Rondo. Here's Williams, and it's rejected, and he gets it back, and he gets the nice. Ball. And now the first timeout call here for Boston. They defeated Indiana in their last game. That game nearly got away from them. A little bit fortunate to have survived at the end of regulation. You know what? The overtime was a bit of a lifeline for them. Things really swung in their favor then, and they were God dang it. very strong in that extra session. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Pass to Money. The kick out to Williams. Tries to save it and out of bounds as the Celtics team presents. Dang it. I wish you would have made that. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early yeah. season. Taking a look at pretty, Atlanta. They reside pretty in the poor. Spot right now in the early part of the season. And Come on, we have to beat Boston Celtics at least. A game and a half out. You know, I think for the Hawks, they just haven't shown the kind of toughness and resilience I expected to see from them this year. Whenever they face some adversity, they haven't been able to fight through it. Which is really the difference between good teams and great teams, Parker. There's always Come on, Rondo, let's miss this. It's how you fight through it. Really Told you I'd have missed it, Rondo. 
Boston shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And you look at the numbers for this season, guys, from the free throw line, they're shooting 77%. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Brandon Bass is checked in for Jared Sullinger. And it's Wallace in for Chris Humphreys in the foul. Oh, crap. What collision that was. Boston making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. Here's money. He's guarded by Olenek. No God from dang money. it. For Boston, they've gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Crawford's shot is good. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Mack, the pass to money. It's good. There you go. Money's got his first points in this one. You know, when he's in that tight, with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Dishes to Wallace. Back to Crawford. Let's it go with a three. And he gets uh -huh. it. Crawford's got five. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together. And they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. There you go. That's good for money. I love the finger roll up and over the defense. The Celtics with the lead. Bradley gets a screen from Bass. Bradley kicks to Olenek. Olenek sets a screen for Crawford. And again, Boston with the triple. They're six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. It should be easy to correct, though, if you start making the right rotations defensively. The kick out to Scott. Feeds it to Jenkins. Down low. Money. Uh -huh. Some blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. These guys were a tough opponent for them last year. Bart. Yes. See what you're saying. Yeah, when you're so evenly matched with the team, Kevin, it, it doesn't make you go. feel that good to have dropped most of your games against them because you feel like you should at least win some of the games you play against this team. Lee's checked in for Avery Bradley. The drive by Lee. Rebound by the Hawks. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And I think... Yes! Really nice. Have a strong you go out on the road, you can't rely on your starters night in and night out. The reserves have to contribute and help them out. I think we definitely saw that, Steve, throughout the game. They were really tied together as a team. Didn't make any difference who was out on the floor. Ooh. We'll take every road nice. win you can, and they're happy with that one. Corver gets to Scott. Pass to money. Vader on the way. Come on, get that rebound. Oh, jeez, he got stuffed. Just one second between the shot clock. I failed my back. dynamic goal. God dang it. It's Crawford with the drive. Lee outside. Pass with a screen for Lee. A Linux dishes to Crawford. Boston again missing. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good. But good ball movement anyway. And at the end yeah. of one, both Get that down. in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. <clears throat> well, Mike Boonholzer, you know, the new coach of the Hawks, spent 19 years with the San Antonio Spurs, including 17 as an assistant. Well, you couldn't ask for a better teaching ground than that. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I was able to there you go. Uh, he 
said, let's make this one a very physical game. Guys, they're clearly hoping those changes have an effect even before this game makes it to halftime. Kevin? And as always, Doris, thank you. On the floor for Boston. Oh, my Radio God. The court of Rondo and Bradley. Chris Humphreys is out there with Bogans, and it's Bass in at the five. Down low. Rondo passes to Bradley. Back to Rondo. Aha, I got ya. Aha. Fast break for Hawks. Carroll's running. Shoots from the line. And it yes. Money's got 10 points in the game. Back to Budenholzer, who's with the Spurs for 19 years. Steve, the Spurs, the winningest team in pro sports over the last 15 years. Yeah, I'm glad that Budenholzer has finally gotten his chance. God dang it, man. He's a guy who loves the game. He's very dedicated, hardworking, and uh, has learned from probably the best coach in the NBA during his time in San Antonio. Tipped away. Corver passes to Money. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Corver. And it's Humphreys with the rebound. Come on. I should have had that. Humphreys has got four rebounds in this game. Bass with a screen for Rondo. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Now it's a six-point Boston lead. Atlanta's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. To the middle. 132 left in the second quarter. Money passes to Horford. The jump hook. Makes a big night. Thompson goes in. Horford's got four this quarter. Come on. Let's, let's do this. Catch up. There, Come on. Just getting right to the rim. Kicks to Humphreys. Back to Rondo. 105 left in the first half of the game. Horford with the ball. Oh! It'll be Boston. That's stuff. Solid to 10 possession. Boston making some changes. Olenek comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Wallace in for Keith Bogans. 102 ah. left in the first half. And he gets it to go. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. And defensively, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. And it's going to be a three-second Oh, bull crap. And let's see now which shooting guards have been on target the most over the last 10 games. Avery Bradley on top. His shooting has really been off the charts, guys, especially given that he typically operates away from the basket. I mean, those aren't all layups he's hit. He is pure, guys. There's no doubt about that. One of the sweetest strokes in the NBA today, if not the sweetest, with the ability to generate his own shot, too. Boston making a switch here. Green's checked in. Crawford drives in. And there's the rejection. Yes. Force the shot clock violation. Great D. Sellinger's checked in for a lift. The Hawks trail by six. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. And it's blocked. It's Bradley on the wing, covered by Matt. Wallace kicks to Crawford. The dish to Bradley. Back to Crawford. Shot is blocked. They retain possession. And that does it for the first half of play. Thank you, Kevin. Rush on a very Let's go by sprint to the second half. Hope we catch up here. Sprint halftime report presented by Sprint. Uh, bench. All right, Chris Humphreys. Come on. Chris Humphreys is trying to take over this game. Don't let him make his next shot. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. And stolen by yes. Him. Money. He's in at the four spot. Williams is out there with Shelvin Mack. Then there's Horford, and it's Millsap in at the three slot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Yes. Shots good for Money. Celtics leading by three. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Rondo with the ball. Now defended by Mack. God dang it.
Humphreys has got 12 in the game. What a floor leader he's been at the offensive end. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it, dispersing it, and running the show. More for the pass to money. And Mack kicks to Millsap. Shot clock at six. From the arc. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Bradley's got his third rebound on the night. You know, you think of what a typical Eastern Conference team plays like, and you often think of the Celtics. I mean, they like to slow it up. They'll play hard D and take their fouls when they can. Still, the Celtics last year were just average when it came to playing the rest of the conference. Millsap passed the money. Williams from outside. That's good. Ah, oh, nice. He picked it up. Put right in. Points. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Rondo off the pick from Humphreys. Outside Rondo. He dishes it to Green. Back to Rondo. The feed to Humphreys. That's ah. good. The assist from Rondo. 14 points for him. Well, and back to the Celtics, even as you said, Clark, they do all the things most Eastern Conference teams do well. They just couldn't keep it together, Steve, uh, to finish far above 500 in the East. Well, losing Rondo was a huge part of it as they had to adjust their entire offense. God dang it. Season. Come on. I think a lot of it, too, is you know, the rest of the East has caught up to them, and time is, is finally catching up to them. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Pistons was a big factor. He ended with 10 points, and along with what he did on the offensive end, he also played some stellar defense as well. Overall, just an incredible bonus for his team as he made a big impact coming off the bench. All right, Doris, well, guys, coming off a performance like that has got to have him supremely confident right now. Well, that never seems to be a problem for him. But there you go. He has to be feeling at the top of his game right now. Well, when you play well, it feeds confidence. And when you've prepared to play well and it works out that way, it does add another level of confidence to your next game. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Before his injury last season, it was quite clear that while the rest of the Celtics bunch could still hold their own, this would no doubt be Rondo's team moving forward. And for Rondo and the Celtics, it actually explored trading him in the past. You always heard the rumors he butted heads with Doc Rivers, and they wondered if he was too individualistic. Now they hand him the keys. Well, he's a tremendous player, ah. Rondo, and, and a guy who can take over a game. And there have been times when he's been a little moody. We've seen him bump officials. He's gotten suspended. He's gotten into a little tiffs with teammates. Uh, but I kind of like that feistiness, too, as long as it's channeled in the right way. The Hawks trail by eight. Running ambushes it to Scott. Right wing. Here's Jenkins. Oh, oh, no. oh I did a lot that play. <laughs> That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Buffered outside. And it's nice stuffed. Here's Jenkins, guarded by Crawford. Here's Money. Outside, Scott. And there's the three. Come on, I hate that penalty so much. Single season leaders in assists per game. The Utah Jazz's John Stockton, the featured player. Yeah, and Isaiah Thomas cracking that top five. This is one of those stats where you have to credit the teammates, too. you got to have shooters and finishers to complete the play. And those two, of course, played on some great NBA teams. Please check in. Ah. Atlanta with the ball. Eight-point game. Cunningham passes to Money. He feeds it to Cunningham. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Look at the numbers for him on the line for, uh, this year. 88% on the season. Impressive number. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half, despite trailing in this game. Well, you know, that's when you need to be <laughs> most aggressive when you're down. Another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. Yeah, good right. there. You could tell he was moving into the defender when he tried to set the screen. 
Yeah, lowered that shoulder, dipped right into him, too. I mean, he was going to be called on that foul either way. Jenkins, the best of money. God Rebound dang it. Wallace. Here's Lee. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Crawford kicks to Sullen. It comes. Ah. And the foul. Ran. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. This is where their depth becomes such an asset. Put Kevin. me over that, the dude. The of the game, but fortunately, they're able to field a very capable replacement. Throws it from deep. No good. And that does it for the uh. Offensively, as we approach the fourth quarter. Austin on top, up nine. 2K Sports, back in a moment here at Phillips Arena in Atlanta. Shots continue All right. to fall as Scoop. we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. And let's take this chance now to show you the state You gotta be smarter up there with your shot. I don't want to see another bad shot. It shows you just what a well-rounded right. guard he really is. Kind of a combo guard, even though he's listed as a, a shooting guard. Really a diverse offensive skill set. We're almost seeing more of that out there. There's some guys that have point guard skills that can play both those yeah, positions. for sure. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Ow, it was a good oh, shot anyways. <laughs> then it's Chris Humphreys. Then it's Lee. And it's Crawford at the one. He kicks it to Wallace. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. On the wing, Williams. Leaps Holy forward. crap. Uh, Humphreys with the snake. Crawford with the ball. Pass to Green. Back to Crawford. From deep three point range. That's oh, good. Oh, wow. Crawford's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Celtics. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three point line. No one near him. That's a warm up jumper for him. Money passes to Cunningham. The Hawks working the ball around. Back to Millsap. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. You know, I love watching a guy like Paul Millsap. Bond, so make it. Yes. In his movement. And he's crafty. He's able to score big numbers on guys much bigger. Yeah. Than Bradley. He's checked in for Boston. Rondo comes in for Jordan Crawford. And Millsap, not quite six foot eight, but he's got everything else. Motor, skill level, and Steve IQ for the game. Yeah, very well rounded. And his wingspan really helps defensively. You know, he's led all power forwards in steals in each of the last three seasons. So he really does a nice job defensively. And here's Green outside, but he gets it back. Yes. Clock expires. 24 second violation. They're really doing a good job. Hard to get inside <laughs> and draw contact. A little more so than they did in the first half. Um, to keep a lead like this, they should continue to attack the paint like they have been. Don't settle for jump shots. Find your way to the free throw line. Jared Sullinger's checked in for lead. Passes to Money. Uses the glass. Yes. There we go. They found the soft spot in the defense there. Austin leading by nine. Bradley dishes to Rondo. Sullinger with a screen for Rondo. And the oh, yeah. Give me that uh, bottle of the backs. They'll be hosting Orlando for the next one. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Into the fourth quarter now. Mack, the best of money. Oh, no. Horford in the post. Covered by Sullinger. Yes. 18 points for money. Tell you what, he's been zeroed in on the hoop all quarter long, making big shots. Sullinger with a screen for Rondo. Get the fruit. Now Humphrey's inside. Second chance shot. No! So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up. And I was on my butt, man. What do you expect, game? Rebound. And he's added a steal to his stat line also. Well, that's obviously not a big number, but you know, he's been doing some valuable defensive work for him. Story came out about Chris Humphreys last year that basketball wasn't his number one sport as a kid. He was actually one of the best swimmers in the country as a youngster. But basketball's worked out just fine. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes ah. into it. 
It's Millsap with the drive. Six to shoot. And ah. with the rebound. Dang. Humphreys has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And Clark back to Humphreys. He still holds the 10 and under record in the 50 meter and the one. Get it? Yes! Would you like to see Tim Duncan and Humphreys swim against each other? You know, Duncan used to swim as well. Right, yes. Childhood. Yes. So I say we put him in the pool. Let's, uh, let's see who the better man is. Tim freaking lost the ball. Here's Matt. Plenty of space. It goes yes. With the switch. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Rondo kicks to Sullinger. Sullinger with a screen for Rondo. Rondo off the big from Sullinger. Look from Green. Rebound by Money. Get it. Yes. Money's got six rebounds here tonight. Williams with the ball. Sullinger picks him up. Horford against Bradley. Got it, and the Celtic lead has been put down to five on the ground. Right. Horford heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him, took it straight to the basket. Now here's Rondo, defended by Matt. Now Rondo. Oh, dang it. Glass on the way up. And the Celtics lead by seven. His stroke is getting dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shot's just falling for him. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. He loved the work they were doing on the interior, saying, listen, they've got no answer for us inside, and we're not going to let them off the hook now. Keep pounding it down low. Dishes it to Green. Back to Ronda. Right side Rondo. Here's Bradley. Basket ah. the assist from Rondo. Rondo's got his ninth assist in the game now. Incredible. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. Here's Money. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Really an extraordinary game for Money. He had 18 ah. points, and what a tear he's been rejecting shot after shot. No doubt, Hank. He has absolutely owned the paint. Oh, come he's on. good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more by aggressively attacking the basket, and he's not shying away from the contact, which has given him some free throw opportunity. Green kicks to Rondo. There's the pick. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And now a nine-point Celtic lead. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Back the pass to Money. Great D that time from Humphreys. Austin leading by nine. Outside Rondo. And blocked. They recover it. Good. Ah. Humphreys has got four this quarter. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. For Atlanta, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. There's Williams with the three. Atlanta again missing. Well contested shot, and they did an excellent job of not fouling the shooter. Defense is about effort and commitment and discipline. He's a good defender because of those things. Rondo dishes to Sullinger. Rebound Atlanta. Horford's got four rebounds now tonight. Williams kicks to Horford. Hawks passing it around. Shots good for money. That was some skill there. Nice use of the bounce pass. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. He talked about their post game, saying we've got this defense stretched out, and if we can make solid entry passes into the low block, the points will come. Something else he mentioned is that he's giving them the green light on offense. He wants to see a high volume of shots. Gentlemen, some late game adjustments that could prove crucial in the game's closing moments. Kevin, over to you. Thanks, Doris. Let's mess us up. 
109 left in the fourth quarter. Rondo passes to Selinger. Six on the shot clock. They kick it out to Green. Oh, no. That's good. Oh. This is by Rajon Rondo. Green's got the lead up to 12 now for the Celtics. And these are the types of games where it's obvious one team clearly had the edge tonight. All right. Keep doing that. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of you. Yeah, remarkable team effort, Kevin. Everybody got involved, and that paid dividends. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth. Williams for three. Mott, yes! The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. This may be their most important possession. Yeah, as long as they don't make a mistake here, they should be safe. And now we've got the intentional... Fun miss it! Oh. It a seven point lead. Miss it. Yes. No good that time. He really wanted that one. Let's go, 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 go. You gotta make the shot. This game is over. I think you're right on target. Uh. Come on, make these shots. Make them. Yes. Come on. We have to have hope. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. And an intentional foul right there. Come on, Rondo. Miss it. Ugh. Miss this one at least. Come on. Miss. And he is unable to get the second one. For Atlanta, they've gotten exactly two thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here. Come on. Eight of twelve. Defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. Yeah. He miss many of them. And the call will be against Al Horford. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. <laughs> It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this. Uh, and time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Rajan, what was the key in tonight's win from an offense? 582. Okay. Coach's office. Okay. Thanks for coming by. I just want to let you know that we're happy with the way you've been playing lately. Expect to see some more minutes from here on out. Okay. Uh, 28 minutes. You should be passing up Paul Millsap or Elton Brand soon. Of course, I don't refuse to wear clown nose. Screw you. Accepted help with free throws from Al Horford. Yeah. Voice frustration with lack of minutes. Uh, asked to look at film and did not pass the ball to Al Horford. True. you. <laughs> Nord teammates during a timeout. Pass the ball. Sign local endorsement deal with Studley Bob's tires. Hmm. All right, there's my player there. Aha. 